everybody. Welcome back to our channel, the V Lady Apiary. Always sweating. Anyway, today we thought we would share some household tips with you. B Man is right there uh, in case I need any feedback on some of these household ch ch tips. Um, as you all know, when we go out different places and talk to family, friends, uh, church, groups, organizations, yes, we can still go out places. Everybody's giving us um, household tips. Well, you know, you can do this to save, to do this easier, or do this to do this easier. So um, over the span, actually, since early this summer, because I always carry my handy planner with me, um, I've been compiling these tips on a page about my fan and I have them written down now because of copyright uh, a lot of the things I wanted to bring up and model for you not as a model but you know to show in teaching we use that term to show you how something works uh, you're just gonna going to have to imagine it in your um, minds second uh, before I get going I'd like to uh, say a disclaimer um, the Bee Lady Apiary, our channel, nor Bee Man, nor myself are responsible or take any responsibility for any of these household tips or tips. If you should try them and cause bodily harm to yourself, or if you want to tell your Aunt Sandra about them, or if you have an Aunt Sandra, disclaimer if you happen to have one, or whatever, and it causes harm or something happens or whatever, we're not responsible. These are just things that we heard from our neighbors down the road or somebody while we were riding our bikes. Yes, we do ride our bikes or, um, you know, just in, in what we do at a beekeeping meeting, wherever we should happen to go. You know, as I said, I just keep track of these and we just made a, a long list to share with you here on our channel. So let's get started. Wow, it's hot in here. Ooh. Anyway, number one, and one that um, I haven't seen many people use, and I'll have to fold it this way. This is sandpaper, and it happens, I can't show you the inside because then I'll be showing you the brand. But it happens to be number 60, okay? And I think that's one of the coarsest type you can get. And I have it folded so that, you know, you are getting both edges. How I happen to sharpen my scissors, and my scissors, all of my scissors take a rough beating, is I have the edge out like this, the open edge, and I very thinly just cut, open them as wide as I can, and cut all the way down. Okay, just like this. Now, I don't know what the cost of sandpaper is in your area, dollar store, dollar tree, dollar general, any other dollar thing you can think of up there, there, dollar this, dollar that, everything a dollar. Those are the ones we look for. Everything in this store is a dollar. Those are the good ones. You know, and you just do this a few times and your scissors cut good as new. Now, if they don't, don't blame us. Works for me. Okay. That's household tip. Or just tip number one. Okay, I have my marker here to check these off as I share them with you. Uh, number two, my pronunciation, dear. Carol Biner, Carol something, hook, Carol, those, Carol, C A R A B I N E R. This is what I do, folks. I spell Carol Biner. They're silver and they clip in. Builders um, out there, you um, know, the car thing. Carabiner. Carabiner. I think. I'm not editing this out either. This is how we live here. <laughs> I do you say that. Uh, Carabiner. If you are in a state, which we are not, our state outlawed plastic grocery bags. So now we are using paper. And when we go to the store, we're being charged for paper bags. So we take our own bags, which I was going to show you one, but copyright. But anyway, if you're in a state that is still giving you plastic bags, um, 
you hook them all together if you have to go up the stairs after buying your groceries or whatever. Um, and um, hook them all on there. You may want to pad that hook a little bit maybe. I don't know. And you can carry more than one in one hand. I don't know how that would work. I haven't tried that one. So I will tell you if I have tried any of these. Um, I don't even understand that one. I just wrote it down as my friend told me. Oh, this one. I have not tried this. I know many of you have heard of this. The pot, the wooden spoon. Okay, when you have something boiling on your stove, you put a wooden spoon over it and it will not boil over. I have not tried that. Don't blame me if it doesn't work. We've all seen it. People have been telling me that. Oh, I boiled this over. I'm on the phone. I'm like, oh, I boiled that. So put a wooden spoon over your pots. Got a big pot. Get a big wooden spoon and put it on there and it won't boil over. We should try that later. Try that later? Maybe. Okay. That one. Okay. Um, UV light sanitizers. Cluelets. <coughs> Joked on that because you have to pay money for those. Uh, no idea. If they work, people are saying, oh, they work, they're great. Uh, you need a source of power. And I have no idea if they work. They're pushing them today all over the place. You may want to look into them if you're a techie type person. Um, if you are moving somewhere, I actually have done this. And you, you don't know, you know, you want to pack up your clothes. You've got so much room in your car, whatever. Take all your clothes and I don't have a clothes hanger here. But put them all on a clothes hanger, you know, hang them all on there. And then on the, oh, he's going to get me a clothes hanger. <coughs> hurry up, hurry up. Hang them all, you know, use the clothes hanger to hang. Like, say you hang a dress on a clothes hanger. Then you might be able to get something else on the clothes hanger. Then on that bottom part put maybe two or three pairs of shorts or pants or something and clip them with a, um, uh, have this for later. Yeah, got a nice green one. Yeah, put all your clothes on here and then clip them here, you know, and then take all the tops and put them together and then um, tie them with um, butcher string. By the way, every household, I recommend have butcher string. Butcher string is, to me, something that every household can have, should have, because they make great um, wicks for candles. Um, I got that tip from Rain Country, which is a YouTube channel, a great channel. Um, so that's one, something that we've gotten into since, you know, we tend to travel a lot sometimes, is using those vacuum bags. If you're concerned about using a vacuum cleaner with them, Look for the ones that have the little uh, vacuums. They're actually vacuums that you pump up and down. You only need to buy one of those and then use those for all of the other bags that don't come with them. Okay. Um, if you're driving around out there and you're in an area that has a lot of those uh, bugs that travel around at night, some of you in the southern states, uh, and your headlights are getting all dirty and messed up, Try polishing them with toothpaste. I've never done it. Supposedly that works really well. Smear a whole bunch of toothpaste on there. Take a soft cloth and wipe it off. Thinking, huh? We're thinking here. Okay. Um, ground beef. We all love ground. Well, I love ground beef. We are not vegetarians in this house. No hate comments, please. We're all entitled to eat the way we want to. Um, when you're freezing your ground beef, you know, most people ball it up. I don't know, make the whatever they do with it. Flatten it. Put it in your um, bags and make make it flat, as flat as you can. You know, if you happen not to have one of the food sealers, which I do not, put it in your uh, plastic bags and flatten it and make it flat and lay it in your freezer. You'll get more space. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, microwave space. I have not uh, tried this yet. When you're putting food, especially if you're having your family over, um, 
however many you can have depending on where you live um, and you have your microwave there and you've got a dish in the middle um, I saw something where you can um, take a mason jar whatever size will fit in your microwave along with this middle dish put a little bowl of what something else you may want to heat in there and have that go around at the same time therefore you're killing two birds with one stone you can heat up the other dish at the same time okay that's that one um oh this one i have a star by because i absolutely i haven't done it i am going to do it in the back seat of a car depending on what your car you have depending on a whole bunch of things but i really like this one cup holders and you know most people use um have all types of holders for coffee as well you know the uh the coffee holders that are um you know keep your coffee hot and everything we have an old sneaker oh well it doesn't matter don't get and you have a just take an old sneaker and i don't have an old sneaker take an old sneaker and take the toe part and fill that up with a sock, newspaper, whatever. And use the, imagine an old seeker. Take the heel part, put your drink in there. There you go. Might even help to put something weighty in the um, top part of the, where the toe goes in the sneaker. Uh, if your son has an old sneaker, this is, I'm not wearing those anymore. They're out of style. Fine. <laughs> I just take it, put it in the back on the floor or something and put, you know, something weighty. Uh, Weighty, I mean, if you take vitamins, take an old uh, vitamin jar, uh, fill it up with, go outside, get some stones or something, slip it in there and put, um, put your drink in the heel. To me, visually, that will work. That's something I'm going to try. Here's something very interesting. I think we all add oil in cars and it goes all over the place. Now, if you take a screwdriver, they're recommending screwdriver. I don't know why. If you don't have one of those handy dandy oil things that goes in and you know, it goes right down into the oil thing. Funnel. Funnels. Then supposedly, <coughs> if you take a screwdriver and pour the oil on the screwdriver and put the screwdriver, gotta have a long one, I guess, or down in the oil, and put it on here to go right down. I don't know what this action is called into it'll hug hug the screwdriver and go right down into the oil tank this one i really had to think about mentioning this one uh if you don't want to invest in a sandwich maker which i think i'm going to rather than do this started to bring the toaster to show this one but i thought nah you want to make grilled cheese sandwich <laughs> Ready? You take a toaster, flip it on the side. You know, you've got your two pieces of bread. I don't know. Folks, I don't know. You put two pieces of bread, you put a slice of, you know, you butter it, put a slice of cheese on each one. Turn your toaster on the side. Make sure it's not near on anything that's going to burn. Put it down. Watch it. Watch the cheese melt. Pop it out. Put the two together. There's your toasted cheese, your grilled cheese, because it's gonna it's gonna toast on the on the upside of the bread, and it's going to melt the cheese on the other, and it doesn't ruin your toaster. Now, if somebody tries that, and it works, please leave it in the comments. If you try it, and it destroys your toaster, please do not leave me uh, a request for payment for. <laughs> No toaster in the comments. Like I said in the dis disclaimer, we're not responsible. Okay, I'm going to put a question mark by this. Okay. Um, this one looks promising. Old newspaper in the bottom of a trash can. Uh, I think most of us use those plastic trash. Um, plastic trash liners. Even if we use the, the little ones for... Uh, bedrooms or bathrooms that we get from the uh, market that we used to get from the market in the bottoms if you have any liquid you know the first couple days of the month I know this is how it goes at our well how it used to go at our house you know everybody's nice and neat and nothing liquid goes in the bottom of those at the end of the month it's like eh, you know you throw anything in there 
Then at the bottom, you uh, ball up old newspaper and throw that in there and at the bottom and then it'll absorb all of the liquid and supposedly help with the smell absorb the juices stop it from leaking out i don't know i've never tried that um another one if you are serving can a canned beverage um and you have guests over or whatever you want this to you want this whatever you're drinking again copyright um they say wrap it in a wet paper towel and put it in the freezer for 15 minutes or a napkin that the cooling process of this accelerates it getting cold there you go okay um if you're painting, people have to be painting. And, you know, we, well, I usually paint using a coffee can. You know, I, I like big coffee cans or little coffee cans if I'm working on trim. They say, and I got a little coffee can that I use, that I save for painting. Um, put a rubber band on the top, okay, and... Um, to wipe your brush on so you've got your brush in here and then you're gonna wipe it on your rubber band so that everything is nice and neat see when you're done I mean as you're you know wiping off your whatever I have not tried that yet uh, I try to be a relatively neat painter I start out neat I'm relatively neat um, I must say another one here is to try to clean your toilet with carbonated beverages. I'll leave it at that. I'm not naming any beverages. I have not tried it because I enjoy carbonated beverages and that's just the way <laughs> it is. Uh, next, if you're hammering nails, especially the little tiny itsy bitsy ones, and this is what I had the clothespin for, hold them, but you know, put the clothespin, hold your little nail and then Use your hammer to hammer it so you're not hammering your thumb. Okay. Um, what have I forgotten? Oh, anybody in, there must be somebody in areas that has, um, where it's really going to be warm and you have children, you don't have a sprinkler um, to take. A uh, liter size bottle of whatever beverage, uh, fit your holes onto the end, the infamous duct tape. Who, who doesn't have duct tape or who can't get it at a dollar store? You know, poke some holes. I'll just say on here, you know, whoop, can't show you the name of this. That's why I have that on there. Whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah, I'll show you that. Like, ho, 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 ho. Lie it down. You know, you've got this part taped in and the water will come out as a sprinkler and the children will have a great time. Went over that kind of quick. Um, what else? Is that it? Oh, I have some sideways. I always write sideways on here too. Um, oh, this one was brilliant. Um, if you have a habit of hiding your money and I'm terrible about this and it drives B man crazy over there. It, it just, it drives me crazy. I get money and I hide it <laughs> like a little mouse. I scroll, scroll it all over the place. And then when I go to find it, I can't find it. <laughs> no comments. So, you know, six months later, or a year later, I go, oh, gee, look what I found. I, I just, I can't help it, folks. I just, I don't write it down because I figure if I write it down, somebody else can find it. So anyway, um... If you are going on a trip and, you know, you've got your fanny pack and you've got your money belt and you've got, uh, you know, your cargo shorts and everything, uh, think about your chapstick. I was going to show you with a chapstick. Again, different brands. I didn't want to show you. Take the inside of your chapstick out. Roll up your bills really, really, really tight. Slip them in your chapstick. Leave the label on. Put the top on and put it in your purse. There you go, ladies. And 
what's that one? Uh, that one, that one, that one. Some that I would never share with anybody. And I think I've gotten through those. And then one last one. One. Honey, can you get near the light switch, please? I'm pretty sure everyone has heard of this one. Can you go near the light switch? And I might end with this one. I'm not sure. We've all heard of the water and the flashlight. Well, I've got a flashlight. Oh, can't show you the water. Okay, and I've got the water. But you feel... I'll tell you one. Okay. The bottle. Let's see. And I, I've got all that on there so you can't see it. With water. Yeah, water. Okay. It would help if I took the top off, right? And then you get a flashlight. And, you know, you would tape this on if your night lights went out or something. Okay. And it actually works. Can you hit the lights? See? Wait, let me get my arm out the way. It actually works. And um, the bigger, wait, let me see if I can turn this off so you can see that it works. Okay. On and off. On and off. Isn't that cool, folks? Oh, yeah. Okay, you can turn that back on. First time I found this, I had all this water lined up on our um, counters downstairs. I was going bing, 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 bing. Because that's something really cool. Now, if you happen to have, uh, you know, this this begs the question, how many batteries are you going to run out, you know, making these lights? Well, you can, if you have rechargeable batteries, if you happen to have uh, the, <coughs> the wind-up flashlights, which we do, some of those, think of those when you think of this, this item. Think of, um, you know, the little wind-up ones. Think of um, solar flashlights. Think of, um, there's another type of flashlight I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, let's see, rechargeable batteries, solar, wind-up. Hmm. Well, if I think about it, I'll put it in the description. Can you think about it? Can you remember? Different kinds of flashlights so that you don't run out of flashlight. Wind up. Wind up, yeah, solar. I don't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, that's a cool one. Because, you know, it makes a really nice glowing light. And I know so many people, you know, depending on the strength of your flashlight and the size of your bottle, um, the light glow uh, is different. And people actually are just using them now because they're so nice. So, um, yeah, they're not even, you know, some people use candles. Some people use uh, lamps and things. But it's such a beautiful glow that some people use it now. So, it's a really nice glow. So, that's about it for now. And, you know, we have, um, I have other ideas, but that's about for now. I see we're at about... 23 minutes. That's enough for anybody to sit and take down ideas. So if you have any other shortcuts or tricks, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, we hope everything is going well for you. God bless you and your families and take care and much love from the Bee Lady Apiary.